It was three o'clock in the afternoon and it turned to midnight. Our headlights didn't penetrate and uh, we had to look out for the safety of ourselves and for the six trucks that were with us. And you use all of your senses to, to t make sure that everybody's safe. So I stayed and fought the fires. I, I suppose that people may see that as inspirational, but for me it was something that just had to, it had to be done. I've been a lot of fires in the time I've been in the brigade, but I've never seen anything like that. We were actually overwhelmed with the response. People were coming into the shop with trolley loads of groceries that were on this list and personal care items. I just did what I could um, to keep people informed and uh, keep, keep our animals safe and be there to talk to um, if other members of the community needed it, which, which they did. We met, you know, people in their 70s and 80s who were in these brigades who were out there just completely put their lives on hold to go out there and be, you know, at the, at the front line. It was amazing. I'd go out, get the job done, get it done the best of my ability. Someday when this is over.